Hey everyone, my name is Poison Blade and I hope all of you are doing okay. So for today's video, welcome to Hope Asylum where after this build is done you can probably put me in here because it is a two-parter. Today I'm going to build the pristine version of it so that next Sunday I can ruin this building. And it's also eventually going to be a hyena habitat. But not in today's video, you're not going to see any hyenas in today's video, but I will certainly put it in the title still, because it's eventually going to be an hyena habitat. But with that being said, let's get straight into today's video. So when it came to the asylum, it wasn't actually the build that I was thinking of building before starting, because there was the community pool where I gave you guys a few, well, two words basically. I gave you guys the shrieking dot 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 and the dot 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 cabin, which you might have already guessed this, but it would have been the shrieking shack or Hagrid's cabin from Harry Potter. So they were both going to be Harry Potter themed builds. But while I was building the shrieking shack, because that's the one that you guys eventually voted for, I just decided this is really boring. Like I just found out, oh, this is the reason why the outside of the building isn't shown in the movie for any extended period of time, because if you just look at the Shrieking Shack and just look at how it's built, it's a rectangle with a little bit of a high-pitched roof, so I thought, oh, that makes it slightly more interesting. Three funny-looking windows in the front and an extension to the back, but that's also just it. So that build wasn't challenging me in any way, so then I thought, I can continue this build and it's just a very easy build for me to make. Or I can try and find another build which is slightly harder for me and challenging me. It also creates a little bit more creative freedom because building something completely off reference is limiting your creative freedom of course and yeah eventually I just decided alright I'm going to try and find something else that still has the shrieking thing to it. So of course first I thought Banshee but then I thought Wednesday is going to be Valhalla, not today, so I want to maybe keep the Banshee for later. Then I quickly thought of, oh, you know the Haunted Bride or the Haunting Bride, because that's the thing across, I think all cultures have, like a story of like a bride haunting a place. But then I thought, yeah, do I want to build a church or something? Like, nah. So then I just decided Asylum. And I had sketched out the idea of an asylum when I didn't have my PC for 3 days and all life was bad and sad. But I even then knew that I was going to go way overboard with an asylum because the creepiness of an asylum is usually on the inside with like the leftover medical equipment and the beds and such. So I already knew, oh I'm not going to have to be able to build this in one video which all of the Halloween builds that I had planned were like one video. Like they were standalone builds. Because I wanted that. And well, yeah, kind of counterintuitive for me to say no to a build because then my brain just wants to build it more. That's how we ended up with this asylum. Because it still has the shrieking part to it because... Well, that's kind of the stereotype with an asylum, that the treatment there was horrible and you would only leave in a wooden box. I'm also eventually thinking of building a cremation plant because that's just a lot easier and it's a way to hide the keeper gate. Can't have just a normal gate, but why not have a cremation plant to just further solidify that this place was horrible. Even though it doesn't look horrible because I did not want to go for the stereotypical asylum, which is the American one and well with the American one building style is probably used all over the world but whenever I think of asylum I just think of them in America where they usually have this like gothic style with like the sort of bell tower or just a tower in the middle and then the like cathedral style windows and just the very intimidating vibe of the building so I thought yeah I don't want to build that because I want to ruin the building so that is a lot easier when you have plaster work. So with all the walls that I've built so far, it's one layer of just the normal brick or the painted brick. And then I put a layer of plaster on top of it 
just so that in the next video I can chip away at the plaster, make it look like it's sort of crumbling off, revealing the brick underneath. Because I want to be extra. It's Halloween, we're not getting anywhere outside, so I want to go extra in Planet Zoo. Even if it wasn't Halloween, I still want to be extra. <laughs> because that's just my way of building. Trying to challenge myself and trying to always make sure that my next build is somewhat better than the build before. That's just how I have fun, by mentally torturing myself. Yeah, I'm not doing myself any favors by doing all of this in the case of not putting myself in a mental asylum. <laughs> then, of course, not wanting the gothic one, wanting to work with plaster, I quickly decided I have seen like exploration videos of Italian Asylum, so that's what I based the building off. So it looks a lot more inviting and that's probably a good thing because if you had anyone like at any family member, well I would say almost incarcerated into an asylum because most people wouldn't leave instead of, they would just uh, sort of well go even more crazy in here because of like experimental treatments and such because this might be just a case of like the bad apple ruining the good ones but yeah you basically create a secluded community where one group has all of the power and all of the control with like the doctors and the guards and then you have one group that doesn't have any control with the patients and then there's this slightest shred of justification that the well the group in control can give themselves or fabricate for themselves and then you get experimental treatments and then there might be a monetary incentive to go for those experimental treatments and then you end up with electroshock therapy and all of those wonderful things <laughs> don't know actually if there's still like a large group or just a large amount of asylums today i don't even know if asylums today are still like a big thing but whenever i think of an asylum it's the old style where basically anyone who was outside of the norm of the olden days i don't know why i said olden days it's not a word i usually use but we're building a mental asylum i can go even crazier today again not giving myself any favors of not being put in here if you were anywhere like behaving outside of the norm, for whatever reason, you could probably easily be put in here. And I just always imagine, and this might be actually true, I don't know for sure, because for today's video I didn't do as much research as I usually would do for videos. What I think was the case, but again, always do your own research. Like this is a point that I will probably just say in almost every video but it's always best to do your own research but i thought that it was very easy for a woman to be put in here because i just imagined the scenario of oh darling you're mentally unstable or just emotional we're just going to put you into a mental asylum for your well-being now where was that mate that i was having an affair with yeah <laughs> um let's just say it's a good thing to look back at history not to live through it because I mean today is the best day to be alive compared to any day before when it came to the asylum it was kind of a bit too inviting because I am going to build an inside I already mentioned that probably 500 times but I kind of made it look a little bit too much like an hotel because I wanted to have like a lobby area where if family was like visiting a patient or well basically a captive here almost because you wouldn't leave here but when family would be visiting you'd obviously not want to show like experimental treatments and the electroshock therapy and i don't know lobotomies or anything like you don't want to show them the gruesome things because then they're immediately like going to remove or well try and get their family member out of there so you want to have like a friendly place and an inviting place such as a lobby but then also makes it look a little bit like a hotel which I mean could still work in their favor because it just gives off that friendly vibe. 
I mean, a lot of like Italian style or, well, not Italian style, but just the, the this style of asylums really look weirdly friendly. Maybe it's just because of the plaster and the warm tones to the building. Yeah, it looked a little bit too much like a hotel. And in the end, it still looks a little bit like a hotel because it's just way too friendly, way too inviting. But I mean, that's going to end next Sunday. Again, going to have a video for Hala in between because I want to try something out. It was really just like, all right, how am I going to achieve this sort of sanitary or like sterile look to the place? Because when I think of like asylums, I also sort of get the connection with like a hospital where it's just like a very sterile look to the place. And to, of course, make it creepy, I did not... Like, even in the pristine version, I wanted to make it sort of creepy. But I, of course, I said this in the last video with Baba Yaga's hut. I don't want to work with fog machines because it's just a, such a cliche trope in, like, any place that you want to make creepy, just douse it in fog and it will do the trick. Like, I don't want to work with fog or anything like that. Like, maybe, like, some, like, broken pipes where it's, like, to just burst of smoke or water or something but no fog machines because it's just such an overused cliche trope but when it comes to like lighting you can easily make something creepy by just having the right shade of lighting because if you have like cold toned lights or like the again hospital vibe lights because for some reason hospitals always want that very cold feeling lights but if you use those and if you then light something from below it just makes it creepier because well if you light something from below it looks taller and so and in that case it always somewhat more imposing using that and just trying to make it so like i mean the prison bar also doesn't do this building any favors but just trying to find other ways to make something look creepy without going into cliches or just well the italian asylum is just already bouncing away any cliches. Don't know why I said bouncing away, but when it comes to asylums, you just think of the gothic style buildings, which I think it, they were like built like churches or like boarding schools because it was like the intention to reform your character to be within the norm. But uh, yeah, that usually didn't end up that way. Anyone with any sort of thing that was outside of the norm was just in danger of being put in there but you might already see i am doing a lot and that means a lot had to be cut out so i was building beds before like the iron beds and i was going to bu build the lobby and i am still going to probably build that cremation plant because it's just easier to cremate someone than to bury someone because then eventually you will have no space left and that means you have to be Somewhat economical with space, of course, because asylums also had to make money. Again, experimental treatments, they were probably getting paid for that, so there was an incentive to do those things. And then you just shock everybody and give them lobotomies and just... I don't know. I don't actually know if lobotomies were performed in asylums. I don't know too much about them. Again, I should probably have done more research, and this is again a case for always do your own research because like some cases I do do a lot of research but for a video like today I didn't do that much but I did build a lot so <laughs> and it still looks a little bit like a hotel and I am going to say this immediately before I forget it but I did use a font that I didn't make myself I don't have the patience to build fonts like anytime anyone says like oh you have a lot of patience Really? I don't. Like, I sometimes will really use cheap tricks to get something done a lot faster. But the font that I used is Richie's Berlin font, I think. I probably am mispronouncing your name, but I think if you are familiar with Plan 2 and have looked in the workshop for, like, any sort of font, you will usually come across her fonts because they're usually amazing. Well, usually they are almost always amazing. And the ones that aren't are it's usually just based on personal style. But I am going to put a link to the font that I used in the description below. So this is 
just something I want to quickly make clear. I did not make the font myself. I used her font because she is amazing at making fonts. And again, when it comes to the even the garden of the asylum, it's pretty to look at, but then at the sides I will have some fences with high shrubbery or like the well, how do you call it? I'm just going to say high shrubbery to hide the rest of the asylum. Because again, if family visits, you want to make it look clean and pretty and nice and then you don't know what is going on beside, behind closed doors. Because of course that cremation plant is not going to be made visible for the family. Because of course not. The family probably has to pay for the patient to be there. And you don't want them to pull out the patient. But I did try to use the basic shrubbery for these kinds of things first, but didn't look right. This just gives more of the vibe that I wanted where I could really easily make this overgrown, make it look like the fence was broken later on so that the hyenas can get up close. So I'm already preparing th this build for the hyenas. You're just not going to see them today because yeah, building the pristine version of the building was already just way too much. And I did actually think of not showing you guys this. Because I thought, oh, this is going to be easy, like, just fast building. And then I realized, oh, this is the reason why I didn't want to build this building in the first place. Well, now I want to build it, but in the first place I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to go way too much with this build. And I did. But anyway, so the after video, like, showing the results is going to be a little bit short today. Because, I mean, it's a two-parter build. So it's not completely done yet, but in this stage, it is done. With that being said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, even though I was probably even more rambly than before. But I mean, it's an insane asylum or a mental asylum. Kind of makes sense that I am also a little bit more insane in today's video. Again, not doing myself any favors of not being put into an asylum. But if you enjoyed the video, there's of course the like button. If you enjoyed it really a lot, that's not a good sentence. But if you really enjoyed it and want to see more, there's of course the subscribe button. There's a bell icon that usually doesn't work. But in the last video, someone said it worked. So holding out hope that it works now. But anyway, I hope all of you have an amazing day. Bye-bye. <laughs>